People love their pets so much that they often want to take them along in the car, on vacations, on the boat, and even to the beach. Well, today we have some experts that have joined us to talk about pet safety and meet a couple of the animals that need good homes. So joining us are Michelle Cook from Petco and Philip Walls from EARS, and that stands for Elizabeth Animal Rescue Sanctuary in Odessa. Mm -hmm. exactly. Thanks for coming today to share all of these good tips and help us meet these yeah, little animals that you have with you. Who are these folks that you've brought with you today? Uh, well, I've got Emily here, who is a, an Australian cattle dog, and then I have Maxwell. Aww. Maxwell up here. Still a puppy here. Yes, he is. He is. He's a hound boxer mix. This and is little Tito. <laughs> Tito is a no, fight. Junior over here. And, and <laughs> they are, oh, look. Uh, they are litter mates. You see him holding my hand? This Aww. is little rebel he's over a, here. I think he's trying yeah. to say adopt me. Don't let me go. Uh, yeah. sure hey, is. That. All and of these, these babies are available for adoption through mm -hmm. ears. Um, we have a think adoption first philosophy with Petco, so we always, you know, recommend that people go out and adopt an animal. We work with thousands of rescue partners all over the country and mm -hmm. Philip is one of the great volunteers with ears mm -hmm. here locally in Tampa who we work with so well who let's hope we babies. have someone watching yeah, that can give them a good home. Absolutely. Oh, yes. But yes. we wanted to talk about mm -hmm. safety during the summer. Absolutely. Why is it important to restrain your animal when you're on a boat or even in the car? Well there's a couple different things. You want you want to get them there safely and let me just start with just first a couple little warnings before we really get into the fun safety tips is one whatever you do don't leave your dog in a hot car. Yes. yes. You know even if it's 78 degrees outside, a car can get to an internal heat of 120. So do not leave any pets in a car. Also keep hot pavement and ground in mind too. Boating surfaces, you know, people that take their pets, kayaking, sand, it gets really hot. So if it's too hot for your feet, it's too hot oh, for their feet. So we definitely tender, huh? you want to definitely make sure you're paying attention to that. But as far as getting them there safely, exactly. Um, you know, ideally you want your pets to travel in the back seat or if you have an SUV in the back back of the car um, or if you have them on a boat, you know, you definitely want to keep them, you know, in some type of harness, harness or of course with a pet flotation device. This is actually works with your car seatbelt to help oh. keep your dog secure. So when you're driving to get to the boat or the pool or the lake, this really works great. Um, there's also barriers that you can put up so the dog doesn't try to jump over the seat or something like that. Um, you have well. to get yeah, a big harness for your dog. I'm going to remain at home. Yeah. <laughs> and ideally, you shouldn't have them in the front seat with you, but if you have a dog that just loves, loves, loves to ride shotgun, we do also offer booster seats that actually keep them up a little bit so it doesn't activate the airbag. Oh. Because if you think about it, an airbag could really hurt an animal as now, well. Now, you so. mentioned the flotation devices. Uh -huh. I thought that yes. that's what this yellow one is. That's that what he says. Yeah. Yeah. Max that is cute. <laughs> Max was wearing one of our flotation devices, and of course, of course, we have them in all sizes. You know, not all dogs are swimmers, and I think a lot of people automatically think that a dog just takes to the water. They don't. They're not all, um, you know, natural-born swimmers, so you really want to take it slowly with the dog, get them used to the water. Definitely want to have a flotation device, particularly if you're boating, because of current, you know, if mm -hmm. seas get rough, if a dog happens to fall out of the boat. So, you, if flotation device is real, if, uh, excuse me, flotation device is really important. That would be good for older dogs, too. Absolutely. Yes, you know, very much so. We've had a couple of cases lately too in the news of people who jumped in the water because they were worried about their dog right. who got in the water and then the person ended up drowning right. and the yeah. dog survived. And, and so a, and this a, can help avoid that too. Easily, right? yes. yes. And a big dog can very easily, you know, cause a human to... to you mentioned uh, heat. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, dogs don't sweat, right? No. They actually cool by panting. By panting. Mm -hmm. and so that's something important to keep yeah, in mind. Yeah, it's definitely something important to keep in mind. You, a dog's internal temperature should be around 101, 102. So if you're out and about, you know, with the dog, if you start to see excessive panting, that big weighted tongue hanging, hanging out of the side of their mouth, mm -hmm. you know, there's a big possibility that dog can be overheating. So you want to make sure they stay hydrated mm -hmm. all day long. You want to take, you know, travel bowls with you make sure you have oh, plenty okay. of water for the dog and don't wait till they get to the point of being overheated okay. hydrate them all day long they can you, get heat stroke right absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely and you were telling me they can even get sunburnt i didn't they know that they can get sunburnt they can and so actually we have these little doggy sun wipes that include spf oh. in them um especially you know light I'm skin dog like if it's a white for a uh, white coat really pink skin these little bellies right here you want to put some sunscreen on especially if you have a dog that likes to lay on his back um, dogs with pink noses so you really just like kids just like people you want to keep putting sunscreen on them um, these of course are made for pets you know if there's something different out there that you want to try always you know check with your vet to see you know what 
dog friendly or pet friendly um, sunscreens there are out there, but they can get sunburned. A lot absolutely. of things to keep in mind. Uh, there. Yeah, now, I wanted um, to talk with Philip just a little bit about ears and tell me about the pets that you have available for adoption and how people can get involved. Well, um, ears is an all volunteer uh, rescue and sanctuary in Odessa. Um, right off the veterans, basically at 54. Um, and we take tons of people, anybody who can come out there, they're more than welcome. Uh, you can get in, in touch with us at earsrescue.org. And we, we currently have a full house. We have 25 dogs, including the puppies. And Emily here, who is currently sleeping, <laughs> very comfortable. She's dressed for a hike, yes. but she's not quite going to go on it, right? She likes the cool uh, studio floor right. there, I Yes, think. she's really enjoying it. Um, and uh, we have uh, puppies. We have all kinds of dogs. There. You said these are brand new to you. These are new. Right? These are, uh, yeah. they're about to get spayed and neutered. There's seven of them. They're Feist, which is a squirrel dog. And uh, they are going to be about the size of a beagle is Anyone. what they're going to end up being. And you said they haven't even been named yet, so they whoever wants to named. adopt them can name them. Yes. Oh, look yeah. at this exactly. one's on camera. Oh, I'm him. calling him Tito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the process? The process uh, that we do for adoption is uh, we you go online and there's an application at the earsrescue.org and uh, you fill out the application. We check with the vet. We check with um, your landlord or if you're an own, a homeowner, we go out and do a home visit. If you have other animals, we want to check and make sure that it is. And then there's an adoption fee, which basically covers about half of what it costs to get the spay, the neutering, all the shots, and the microchipping. That oh, we so do. they get the microchip <clears throat> yes. too. Yes, and if yeah, and that's we're really important. Like that, we really want the dogs to go to the right home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. and of course, you know, and people who have pets already can also think about the, some of the tips that we shared mm -hmm. for summer Absolutely. safety. And those who are new pet owners, it's good information if they want to yeah. take one of these puppies home. Do you know where home. you can buy these, uh, like, flotation devices and all? Or? Actually, we offer all of these within our Petco stores all over the country. Okay. Um, and there's other different options as well. Of course, we've got our branded materials, but, you know, we've also got all kinds of different mm -hmm. brands and all kinds of summer fun. So you can make your summer playlist and get out there with your pets and just have a really good time. That's great. <laughs> just great keep information. their health in mind. So if it's too hot, maybe it might not be the best thing for them. Right. <laughs> well, great to keep our pets safe. And if you're looking for a pet, then you know where to find one. Thanks for coming Thank in today. You Thank you so it. much.